<laughs> now, we are all hoping that at some point, maybe later this year, we're going to be able to jet off on our jollies. Uh, but whilst we're getting, we're used to getting into the spirit of things, uh, on the plane, a rise in violent incidents has prompted two of the biggest US airlines to ban alcohol on flights altogether. Uh, that's after passenger numbers continue to surge uh, following the vaccine rollout. So, as travel does open up here, it's possible we might start seeing the same thing. We certainly had those problems, you know, before COVID struck and people were going off on, on planes for getaways and things. Booze was a real problem. Should we just ban it, Jane? And then, you know, you have safer flights for everyone. No. No. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Why, not? Why do we need it? Come on, you can do a two-hour flight without drinking. We do not need to... Because, because, you know, the majority of us are well-behaved, law-abiding people. We like to get on a plane. The first thing on our holly bags is, oh, yes, I'd like a little glass of white wine with my tray food. Thank you very much. Why should we be deprived of that because of a disruptive few? I just think, if they haven't got it already, I know that, that um, cabin crew are allowed to say, we think you've had enough already and not, we're not giving you any more. Mm. But maybe tighten up those controls so that the people on the gate, if they see that somebody's a bit disruptive, that there's some sort of, you know, method of keeping them under control on the plane. But, but these if, people if aren't bouncers, you can't not drink on the plane. That. We've all been to airports at 6 a.m. in the morning and people are drinking pints of snake bite. Then you've got to ban it in the airport snake as well. Bites. No, they literally are. I've seen them. You're having a cup of coffee to try and stay awake and the people on the next table are having... Excuse me, are you having a snake back. bite? They <laughs> will still drink. Um, you'll have to ban it in airports as well. And I, you know, banning is an issue for me. I think just have tighter controls. Mm. Lindsay? Oh, well. Sorry, this, are we keeping you up? This, huh? No, I'm just, I'm taking it all in, yeah, Kate. Too, yeah. Because um, this may well sound like rank hypocrisy, and, and, it, and it, may, it may well be as somebody who has, you know, made no issue of the fact that I had terrible you know, it, issues with, with alcohol, and I was a real caner. And, but um, I was never an airport or plane drinker. I just wasn't. And selfishly, partly was because I always wanted a cigarette when I used to smoke, mm. so the two went together for, for me. But one of the things I did then, and particularly do now dread, is on a charter flight, much more than a scheduled flight, because obviously, you know, that's often business people as opposed to uh, holiday makers. I dread the drunkenness on the plane. I, I just, I do. Um, I, it, it may be because obviously, you know, w people recognise us, and I do get that, and therefore it attract, you know, a bit, a bit more. But I would have no, I would love them to ban it on charter flights. Like you said, there's I don't only think certain routes, though, isn't it? I don't think that it. there's Absolutely anything for a two, three, four-hour flight. Um, I think on a scheduled flight, it, it's different. But I think on charter flights, I would love it banned at the airport, and I would love it banned on the on the aeroplanes because I feel sorry for the staff. Because I've seen them on many times be abused. I've seen, you know, I've, 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 I've it's then hard for them. Then? Do, you, yeah. do you then ban it on trains? Because, I mean, that's another sort of form of ban public it in transport. Pubs? A yeah. Ban it in I pubs? Don't, I don't think <laughs> Here's it, a thought. Yeah, I don't think it should be banned. I just think, yes, there are those people that, that abuse the freeness of the alcohol. They're like, it's free, yes, I'll have another one. It's free, yes, I'll have another one. But I think there needs to be some kind of structure in place because at the, at the end of the day, if it's you're, you're putting somebody else... Also, you've got to think about the person's safety on a plane. But there's supposed You're to in be a structure in place now and it's not working. But obviously, uh, you can't then move to... The, I don't think you should then move to banning it completely. You've got to move to being a bit more measured. So maybe you're having, you know, there's a limit, one or two, uh, you know... Um, but you can't measure it when flight. you're a drinker. If you've had one pint of snake bite, you don't want to be but told you can't have another plane, two. If it's on a plane and you're given it by a member of staff, that member of staff is only allowed to give you but that this, amount. But this is when they say you can't have any more, sir or madam, and those people really kick off. And, yeah, and I mean, there, I wouldn't want to be a problem. You know crew trying to police that. Hmm? Flight marshals. Well, I wonder if every that airline might be. just have a flight. Every oh, flight have a not flight another marshal. I'd rather have a ban than another <laughs> marshal. Please don't marshal me. No, but they're there to control. What? Rowdy elements. Yeah, so but I think if you've got rules, well, one that are in flight marshal and, and and a group of ten 
no, people no, drunk but, at but the back they'll, of they'll the plane. But armed. if we've got rules in place, right? We don't. You don't yeah. have people fighting to smoke on a plane, do you? We've, well, that's true. Those rules are now established, right? No smoking on planes. Because so. Because so secondary those rules... smoke damages other people. But yeah, if, but if, Bill you're Gladys... alcohol, if your if your behaviour as a, as a consequence of alcohol cons consumption puts somebody else at risk, yeah. that is also so a... you are in favour of yeah. banning it. No, not banning, but in terms of mm. controls. Surely because there what are... we I think we do need to is stop glamorising alcohol anyway, yeah. and so therefore. But we're not you know... glamorising it. It's like if Bill and Gladys. Don't you know they drink moderately and they like to you know they're going on their one holiday. But they year can wait they till like they get to to, have... to, to their holiday they? destination. But why should they? Bill and Gladys just but why should fire. They? Yes, okay, but I right. think if we establish new rules, they then hopefully themselves. we can why all stick they? them. Yeah. Okay. Well, Bill and Gladys, do get in touch. <laughs> tell us, tell us what you think. Will you be able to hold on for two and a half on hours till you get onto foreign soil? And I'm if... waiting for the. Fifteen years ago, I was on a plane with Denise Welsh. <laughs> I know. This is what happened. Oh yeah, that's coming in now. Oh, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for Gladys to say, "I've never had a snake bite in my life."